Hi guys, I'm back yet again today. It is still Monday. Is it Monday? Yeah, it's Monday. And it's uh, 9.12. I still have to change a couple of the of the clocks back an hour in my house. But um, I'm just exhausted, but I'm killing a little bit of time because I do have to work tonight. I found out. My scheduling coordinator actually said to me, like, I forgot to call you today. Isn't that your job <laughs> to find people to fill up the houses, the staffing needs? Anyway, I don't mean to be salty. She's a lovely woman, but um, I just never know what's going on. And it's hard to plan a day or an evening. But I got a lot done today, a lot of cleaning and organizing and stuff like that. My ongoing house project. And uh, went to the laundromat, went to ShopRite, got some food. Uh, Nick was over for dinner. I gave him some stew and Brussels sprouts. And uh, I had some too. It was keto stew, you know, no carrots or potatoes, but all kinds of other veggies in it and beef. And um, had some coffee, one little square of dark chocolate each for dessert. And uh, he just left about 20 minutes ago. And I'm just chilling. And I was going to do my dishes, but I'm too tired. So, oh, that's fucking rude. Wow. Um, he's such a doll. He put together my, he, he, he rehung one of my curtain rods because it was off by a half an inch and it was driving him crazy. I probably wouldn't even have noticed, but he said it was like keeping him up at night. Just kidding. He, he doesn't have OCD, but he just, he's, he's a perfectionist and he loves to do things right. So, um, he fixed that and then he put together my new shoe rack, which I couldn't even handle, even though it was like six screws and a hex key. And, um, and then he took the, uh, the wheels off my underbed storage baskets so that they fit now, which is going to be great for my teeny tiny bedroom to have more storage under the bed, which will be for like extra blankets, towels, sheets, maybe sweaters, whatever I can fit in there. And, um, so it was a nice night. It was lovely. It was, uh. He went with me to CVS, but my meds were not ready because they have to get called in and authorized through my new um, endocrinologist. And uh, it's depressing how expensive they are. It's really, really depressing because I don't know what they expect like a poor person to do. Um, even with my copay, I mean, I'm downloading a coupon to use tomorrow. Um, but my Tyrosynt, which is what I take for my... Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune disease of the thyroid in which my body um, is allergic to my own thyroid and it's attacking it. In case anyone doesn't know what that is or they're new to my channel, um, there's a lot of weird symptoms, but you're never supposed to go off your meds. And I ran out completely yesterday. So I said to him, um, do you have any like, <laughs> do you have any spare pills hanging around? No, I, I said, can I get enough to tide me over? And he says, not until we hear back from your doctor. So they haven't heard back today. And so I'm going to call my my doctor's nurse tomorrow morning, first thing, as soon as I leave work and uh, figure out what's happening with these meds. Because I go through this every month and uh, I've called up different pharmacies. I've called up the company itself and the price ranges are just insane. It's like they just pull these numbers out of their asses. But tonight at CVS, I spoke to the actual pharmacist himself. And he went online and pulled up what it's going to cost. And even he, a seasoned older pharmacist, was like, whoa, your pills are $485. And that's my cost. And he says, you really might want to work this out with your insurance company or with uh, your doctor, see if they can put in a medical necessity. And I said, um, she already has. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just basically fucked. So I said, okay, 485 you know, and... Think what you want about this. Call him a sugar daddy or whatever. I don't know. But Nick was standing right there and he's like, baby, please don't worry about it, which is what his middle name is, you know, but, but I've been worried about this long before I met him. And, uh, it gives me a lot of anxiety to have to worry about my, my daily meds and how much they cost, you know? So, um, I said, well, I'm going to try to get on and get a coupon. I'm going to, we got to try to get this down. Um, and it's not even for the three months worth. It's like, I take two pills a day and three on the weekend. And I think he said that $485 was for like 110 pills. So that's not three months worth at two a day. I don't know. I can't figure it out. I can't do math in my head. 
Um, much better at words than with numbers, but I know that 485 is a big fucking ass number. Um, so yeah, I don't know, you know, it's spinning my wheels. I can't work constantly just to maintain the income versus the outgo. And it's lovely and wonderful that Nick helps me, but I don't want him to ever feel like that's his job or responsibility or, or duty. And he, he constantly tells me it's just an act of love. He said, I'm not in a hardship position. It, it, it doesn't affect me or hurt me financially to help you. I want to help you. I love you. Just consider it an act of love, please. Not, you know, the C word charity, which is not a bad thing, but it's, it's very humbling to have to accept it. But he, he goes, honey, I know you work hard. You work very hard and you have a lot of bills to pay and you're a single earner. So, you know, if I was sitting around collecting or something with my thumb up my ass, then, you know, he could say, well, why are you looking to me for money? But, um, I, I have to take tyrosin. I can't take synthroid or levothyroxine or, um, the other forms of thyroid because, um, my gastric bypass prevents me from absorbing it in the right way to give any benefit to my body. So that's my whole medical explanation. How boring is that, right? But that's what we did today. So it's always fun when he comes here, he hangs out. We sit on the couch and make out and then we laugh and we talk and, and we were talking about his new job and stuff and his adjustment to all of that. And, uh, you know, we eat and we drink coffee and do errands. Oh. He helped me carry in my clothes from the laundromat. He doesn't let me do anything. He's such a gentleman. He's just, he, he would have done my dishes. And I said, you're not doing my dishes. Just knock it off. So that's it for me. I'm going to get ready to go to work and uh, be home in the morning. I'm off tomorrow, but then I work tomorrow night. And uh, I don't know what's happening Wednesday or Thursday. But Friday morning, we're picking up my friend Steve at the train station because he's going to stay here for the weekend. Watch my cats hang out here. We'll feed him. And then me and Nick are off to Mohegan Sun so I can learn to play blackjack and we can do a little roulette and eat out and dress nice and have fun and hang out in a beautiful room. And what can I say? I don't, I don't feel worthy or like I deserve it, but he keeps saying I do and it's his dime. It's his idea and I'm his girlfriend. So it's like, all right, let's do it. You know, I'm, I'm like a diner and cup of coffee type of gal. I, I love the nicer things in life. I love going to Times Square. I love going to shows and concerts and comedy acts and all that. But like, it's, that's, that's not me asking for it. That's him offering. And it would be rude of me to say no and not let myself be a little spoiled. Um, but I always tell him, you know, when I met you, I, I would have been so content to just hang out with you and have coffee and talk and, you know, and he knows that too. So. Um, he loved the eyelashes. He couldn't stop staring at my eyes. He was like full of accolades. And um, I said, boy, you're, you're pretty easy. You know, it, it costs me nothing to, to do this for you and do it for me because I like it too. I swear to God, I don't even feel these things on my eyes. I wish I knew these existed when I was at my daughter's wedding and I let other people do my makeup and they put false lashes on me that actually had these weird like studs on the lash line, like they were supposed to look like sparkles, um, but they weren't glitter. They were like, they were like pieces of jewelry or something like little crystals on the actual lashes. And it, it irritated my eyes and it made me all like droopy droop, you know, cause I couldn't even like open my eyes all the way. And, um, but these are like, you know, they're kind of natural looking. I mean, they're long and fluffy, but they're light as a feather. I can't keep saying that enough. You, you ladies who wear lashes, you really should try them. I don't know if they're available at Rite Aid or CVS or Walmart, but I got these at Walgreens. So, all right, that's enough. I've been talking for nine and a half minutes and I'm going to go and I love you guys. Thank you for listening and for putting up with my, my myriad, um, uploads today. We got a little of everything. We got some keto French toast and we got some beautiful artwork unboxing and we got some uh I didn't do dishes did I what did I do this morning I forget already but there was a few <laughs> all right guys I'll talk to you later have a good one peace out